batch of um, what you might call pancakes, but they don't have any wheat in them, and so they're a little bit different. Uh, more of like an oat cake. Let's see. Well, these are the snickerdoodles from last night, but one of these things is not like the other. Can you see the oat cake? Well, it's actually got oat bran, which is right here. It's got brown rice flour, and it's got ground flax seeds. So these I keep in the freezer. I usually try to grind them the same day that I'm going to use them, but um, I ground too many for the last something or other and put these in the freezer. And what you have then is a nice wheat-free little thing that you can smother in maple syrup if you're trying to avoid wheat. So, but for the family, I just have here a regular batch of a combination of um, white flour, cornmeal, and brown rice flour, and I'm putting an egg in it. And I'm going to use a little coconut milk this morning because some people are suffering with the sniffles. So, making pancakes really is not a science. It just, you just have to have a good consistency and a nice pat of butter in the pan so that I'll toast up nicely. So, oh, if you're wondering about this shirt, yes, that's a fern. If you ever are looking for a good project to do with the kids in the spring or summer, or the fall, I guess, whenever you can find fern fronds, just hammer them onto a shirt and carry it in a little salt water bath, and then you have a fern shirt. So, uh, 